Cerebrum, Duran, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. Now that the UED's power base is broken on this world, only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here on Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Minx will be easy to deal with. But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. <sighs> they must all be eradicated. Cerebrate, I want both General Duke's and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. My queen, if I may suggest a strategy. Both the Protoss and Terran forces are resting after our previous victory. If we attack immediately, while most of them are asleep and unaware, we can whittle down their defenses with relative ease. Clever. How long after our initial attack can we expect them to regroup and retaliate? I'd say in six minutes. That only gives us enough time to launch a surprise attack against one base, but it is a sound plan. Cerebrate, feel free to launch your initial attack against either base. Failure is not an option. Slaughter them all in my name. Lucky you are. What's up? How y'all doing? And there we have lurkers, guys. And hey, everybody, welcome back to some StarCraft. And today, we're going to have to go and kill stuff. So let's just make these guys cold down here. Uh. I am skeptical, actually, if I can bring these lurkers over here, and yeah, it's surrounded by turrets. Okay, never mind. I was thinking maybe I could get that command center, but uh, oh no, it's not worth it. Basically, we don't. We have exactly like five minutes or some shit to go fucking try and kill their bases and shit. So um, we go for the Terrans because the Protoss have a bunch of photon cannons which attack my ground units. Uh, that's that's primarily the reason I don't go after them. The ter and also, you know what? For the last like ten fucking missions, we've been fighting Terrans over and over again. So you know what? Let's let's have some variety, shall we? Now, uh, the AI in this in this mission actually works pretty interestingly. Um, the AI is basically kind of like, I've never actually seen this, I don't know how this works, but they are completely passive unless I attack near them. Uh, like, if I attack a building near them, they, they, they suddenly activate and they become very hostile to me or whatever. But, you know, this is, this is, this is legit enough time for me to kill, like, one or two bases. So let's just go get these two bases right here. Also, the bunkers don't attack me, which is nice. I like that. So generally, I just want to kill their production buildings. And we can kind of start, I guess, on, on this thing right here. But it's generally not necessary. I don't go into their main base because they seriously... Uh, you know what? Actually, let's, let's not go into their main base at all. Let's just finish it up over here. Forces are under attack. And also build a hatchery right here. Because like when this when this timer runs out, we're just seriously fucked. Well not really, but they're gonna start basically trying to kill me, and you know. That's not that's not good times. So see what I mean? They're so deadly. No. But it, you know what? This is this is good enough. Like this is like this is barely a base, you know. So it's like I don't even think we have enough time for. I I don't know because it's just like I've tried it many times and uh, every time I, I basically I, I never can am able to kill this base because there's always like tanks and battle cruisers in there. But these ba these bases are fine. Like these two bases, you know, we can make another hatchery and things like that. So that's okay. Okay, I, I know I haven't been uh, putting up more videos of this. Like, it's I. it seems to, to, to be like this Let's Play that I never really finished, but, uh... Fuck it, I'll do it now. It's a fucking marathon. This is how we do it. 
I, you know, I kind of want to use some lurkers, but there's a lot of like it. It actually introduces them when when there's a lot of air units now, so it's like uh, it comes into question if if like this is a good time to actually fucking do them. And I, now I need way more drones. Actually, wait. Oh man, I don't even have an extractor yet. Alright. Uh, actually, let's let's make sure this this guy doesn't have anything. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna actually need to bring these hydralists back because they're gonna attack my base in just a second. I probably actually should have made some sunkins. Continue your attack, Cerebrate. Their defenses won't last long against us. Giving what back? Pants down? What? Sorry, I'm 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 confused on on what we're giving back or what they're giving back. Okay, let's go get that missile turret. Could kill me. There we go. Okay, now we got some good defenses. And we're actually mining gas for a change. So, uh, for this mission, I think we're gonna go for some Hydralisks. You know, if nobody minds that. Oh, what? What, motherfucker? We're the fucking swarm. You don't fucking start just attacking us. Alright. Uh, yeah, so we're probably gonna go for Hydras. Um, even though we got Lurkers, you know, maybe I can find a bit of a use for them. I'm also scared to death of Dark Templars, although I don't think they get them quite in this mission yet. And we don't we don't even get fucking I, I actually I want to make some spore colonies, but uh I don't even have uh, an ego chamber. You now there's this myth that if you had like um uh, minerals inside a drone it would like build faster. Of course that was completely untrue. People to this day still believe it, now they don't. Alright. Oh, and that guy was probably coming to nuke me and everything, you know, that would that would have sucked. Actually I really should bring some I should make some overlords here for detection. And I'm gonna keep these guys here. They do like to nuke, and it's a good thing actually I did remove them from the equation as the first like people I went after, so simply because they're just so annoying to deal with. So you know, I'm, I'm I'm proud of myself. I made a good call. Okay, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. All right, now we just bring overlords everywhere, just just to make sure we we you know we cover our bases and all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, we missed some stuff over here, and we also have to make sure they don't rebuild here, because I think they like to do that. I mean, it's an expo. See, I, I am getting used out of these lurkers after all, you know. It doesn't matter. Oh. So we need a good, just a uh, little swarm of uh, hydralisks, and then, and then we can go attack him. There he goes. Oh, oh, he's coming in. Oh, it's odd is this is. Oh. No, oh, kill him. Thank God. Run away again. Why don't these tanks have siege mode? Whatever, just go in there. Go have fun with that. Oh, this guy's still alive. Nope, he died in- he's a casualty of war. Oh, look at that. They're fucking rebuilding that shit already. Like, I just saw it in the corner there. Can't fucking hide it from me. What the hell are these guys doing? Oh, for crying out loud. Alright. I fucking see you there. And he, he has gas, you see? He knows, the, he knows the strategy of making it build faster. What a fucking jerk. 
can copy my strats. Uh, now we just need a couple more. Maybe, maybe, maybe just get this research done. Maybe get a. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Let's go attack. Remember, remember that little thing I always have is attack early and attack quickly. Or I don't, I don't think that's a saying I have, but it is now. I'm gonna put some overlords, and spread them out. We're also gonna need to get like a, a queen's chamber or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh god! When did you learn Siege Mode? What the fuck? Get out of here with that. Fucking Siege Oh my... Good god. This is why we do deal with them first, because they fucking just wreck me. Alright. Good help down there. That attack. It looks like it's going beautifully over here. Alright. And so eventually this... 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 Lair will finish. Then we start doing more upgrades. We also need the Queen's Nest. Now, I kind of want to get increased Overlord speed because we kind of need to use them to go fast. Well, like, we, we, need, we need the... I don't know. We need, we need overlords to basically scout out everything. Now, you know, I'm, I'm really... Unsure of... Oh, God. Okay, he's probably unseaging. Look at this fucking tank-happy piece of shit. Oh, my God. I need, I need overlords because they're gonna be on high ground and shit, so... They already are fucking freaking me the fuck out. And also, we need to also get to this base, because there's more gas here. Oh my, for the love of god. They fucking are so tank happy. And you know, he knows exactly where they are, too. He's such a cheater. Because he's, he's just using them just outside of the range. So, that, therefore he's a cheater. Uh, the AI always cheats. They know exactly where you are. Actually, you know what? There's another base we can make right down there. We need, we need, the, we need more gas, so let's go get this one. Are you for fucking real? Why is my high cluster under attack? Oh, well, the high cluster will be perfectly fine. Okay, when we get faster overlords, then we can move out. Oh my god, look at this, look at this fucking kid and, and his fucking tanks. A situation like this, I kind of regret now not going for beetleists immediately. Because they're just, they're gonna fucking just whittle him down. Look at this, look at this, fucking tanks again. Every couple of fucking seconds. Whatever. Just go fucking deal with it. This, is, this will be my staging area. Uh, let's go get a hive now. Because with these guys, now I can fucking move out. Alright. You know, I'm really skeptical on if I'm going to be able to do anything here right now, but... Whatever. Let's commence the attack. At least let's take out his factories. I mean, I, I just got them to 2-2 two, two upgrades, so... At least take out that fucking tank. Oh, look, there's even more fucking tanks just railing upon me right now. He's like every fucking turn player ever. Let's, let's all move back. Move back. Oh god, I'm just getting fucking killed by tanks. Retreat! 
No, retreat! Tanks are just ridiculous. Wow, okay, so that, that attack kind of failed. I failed it miserably. I'm embarrassed. The, the entire swarm is embarrassed. You know, I, have, I have these lurkers. I should probably put them to good use. Bring them right down here. At least I'll get side onto the bridge and they won't be able to get me as effectively. You, you could actually stack them on top of each other, but I'm, I'm really lazy, so I'm not going to. You know, I don't think they have a scanner sweeper. No, they have a nuclear silo on this thing, so utterly useless. Alright, let's get some defenses here up. You can just mine minerals, have fun with that. Alright. We need to keep reinforcing my hydrolysis. Also, I really don't need any more gas, I just realized this. I now have a mineral problem. I think I've always had a mineral problem. Now it's just kind of amplified. Alright. You know, there's no shortage of expansions anyway, so it's, you know, we're, we're, I think we're good. Okay, look at these fuckers trying to come in here. Look at look at this fucking tanks. Okay, now you're gonna just go be a race somewhere else, alright. That sounds fine. I mean, we can move in. We can just get these guys down here. And now this guy's just gonna be like butt harass my overlords here. Oh no, he doesn't care. That's the coolest wraith I've ever seen. Now I think he'll have cloak. Yes, he does. This is why you have the overlords, kids. Uh, just like one more group of these hydras, and then we'll move out. I mean, we have a lot here, but... Alright, now he's dead. I mean, how long was he chasing that? Like, let's be honest now. Actually, I wonder when this... Like, we have a lot of mining going on here. You know, I, actually, I think we have too many drones here. We're gonna just transfer some of them over. Probably because we did run out of mineral patches a little bit. So split them up. Alright, I think we're good to go. Alright, the epic battle of Hydralisk. Hell. Take two. Hopefully there isn't going to be fucking more tanks. But knowing these fucks, yes there is. I can already hear them dying. Horrible, painful deaths from tanks in the distance. Okay. Let's bring the squad over. Oh, fucking spider mines, thank you. Uh, you know, I was just wondering about that. I'm like, you know what would make this more pleasurable is the, the existence of spider mines. And also, let's go get some more hydrolysis down there. Alright, looks like now, I think they, they stopped, we, we fucking cut off production to this shit, so. Let's bring them all down here. Oh, you know, th that, that cluster of starports seems like a good thing to take out. Oh my god. Kill those things. I think we're good now. I think I think we got this. Alright, I think got that cluster right there. Come on. Now you can see why, you know, I think the Terrans were actually the best choice to take up for what do the Protoss have? Let's be honest now. Protoss don't have shit. How many overlords do I have left? Okay, I got I got a bunch. Well, you know, the, the one saving grace of Hydralisk is that they're so damn cheap. You know, I, I don't think I mentioned though. I think I think one of the reasons this is actually 
not my favorite mission, obviously. I have, I have other favorite missions, but it's it's up there because uh, this is like a really ballsy game in the fact that they actually have you killing off the main characters. Uh, so I'm killing Duke and Phoenix right now. And like that, that to me, I think, like they were like characters and that's really good. Like, that, you know, that's kind of just how this, this kind of world works, you know. All right, let's let's make let's make him start coming up there. I look, there's a siege tank in the ground right here. Oh look, they're fucking battle cruisers. Let's get in there. We just take that out because it's like the worst threat to me. There's also like a fucking yeah, whatever. The battle cruiser can go suck a dick. It, it'll die eventually from very from probably from like old age or something. Like these these battle cruisers, man, are nothing. Like I, I just don't care about them. But that's why that's why I didn't go for the space force, by the way, because quite clearly that isn't the issue. Uh, it's the, the tanks, the tanks are a big, big problem. Well, well, well. If it isn't little Kerrigan, I had a feeling we'd be meeting each other again. You got a lot to answer for, little girl. General Duke, you know I always wanted to have you killed. This is kind of exciting for me. Do your worst then, girl. You ain't taking Edmund Duke without a fight. And is he in like the NORAD 3? What does he count as in? He even has like his own like fucking Battlecruiser backup. Not like it really matters. Alright, time for you to die, dude. Yeah, no, this is not NORAD 3 or whatever. Kerrigan, you murdering bitch. We had a deal. Oh, come on, Arcturus. Did you really think I'd allow you to come into power again? You practically fed me to the Zerg on Tarsonis. You're directly responsible for the hell I've been through. Did you honestly think I'd let you get away with that? But you said revenge was secondary to defeating the UED. I lied. I liberated this planet because it was the UED's primary staging point, not because I was under any obligation to you. I used you to destroy the Psy Disruptor. And now that I've got my broods back, you're no longer necessary for my plans. I think I'll leave you here, Arcturus, among the ashes of your precious dominion. I want you to live to see me rise to power, and I want you to always remember, in your most private moments, that it was you who turned me loose in the first place. Cool. All right. Well, that's uh, that's killing Edmund Duke. Unfortunately, did not make a reappearance in StarCraft Two. Unlike some other characters, which will remain nameless, that start with Alexei and end with Ukov. Fucking, just when you thought that some characters would remain dead, nope. All right, well, and that's the High Templar. You know, I, I really hope they don't have Side Storm. It just occurred to me how hor horrifying that would be, given that this, my entire force is based upon like just like light units and shit. And some more hatchers would be in order, but everything else is okay. I like that guy. He's like fucking dancing. All right, let's go get some hydralisks. Now we are going to the Island of Doom, which is over here. Okay, everyone needs to come back up. Come back up. Like, I have so many units here that they need to come back up. And I'm pretty sure they have, they have carriers, because, you know, they had fucking... I don't know. What? What are you doing? This Terran is dead. Run away! There you go. This is just an island with gas on it. Literally, it is just an island. Look at that. So, so I've got that. I got paid 200 gas to transport them over here, just so I could do that. Let's 
good times. Uh, guess we'll, I guess we'll just head up here now. And guess who's next? The Dr. Protoss. He's so dead. I don't really see a point of using the Lurkers for anything else. Oh god, Vespin guys are depleted. My guess, what will I do? Oh. And let's bring all these guys down here to mine. Guess we might as well start the attack. Uh, I don't know, should I, I guess I'll just go for that that thing first. Just with so many, I have so many fucking hydrolysts, I could probably just split this into, off into two groups. Okay, these guys are going in a completely wrong direction. No, don't fucking load them up. I didn't realize there was a second way to go. Uh, why does it sound like there's, there's fucking... Oh, there's probably gonna be Reavers, aren't there? Oh, uh, fucking Reavers. Hate them. I don't know if they're gonna have any cloakers, but whatever. You know, this is gonna happen so fast, I don't even have- Like, by the time I fucking am done sending these guys, the battle's gonna be over. Alright. You guys handle this shit. Uh, there's something- there's a pylon up there that, that needs to be killed. Yeah, you know, they're, they're having a good time. I don't, I don't feel the need to, to interrupt them. Hydralists are fucking great. Dude, don't, don't you guys talk shit about Hydralists ever. They know what they're doing. They're all Hydralisk and all that kind of stuff. There's both more Overlords. Like, I'm probably gonna make it to 200-200, given how many resources I have. Yeah, see? Okay, and they're like 3-3 Hydros too, with like the Alva upgrades. I, I wouldn't- I couldn't possibly ask for anything better to fucking stomp with. It, it reminds me of these, these like, 7 versus 1 comp stomp games in, 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 uh... Whenever you played uh, online, and the thing when you, whenever you played, or basically what what it was is they'd pick a map like something like uh, really easy, like the the really easiest map was uh, Big Game Hunters, and what people used to do was uh, it, it was like it was like this 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 game. I, I I never really did this much. I think I played it like once when I was like fucking twelve or something. But I was in one of those games, and someone always backstabs. Like and so what basically what they do is the, the ally system in this game basically works like. Uh, like, you can de-ally from people and they would never know it. Or, like, you can prevent the game from ending. Uh, and so, when people... Basically, the game becomes then people try and figure out who the hell is the one that's preventing the game from finishing. Because, you know, obviously, seven players versus one computer, it's not very... It's not up in question who's going to win that. So, it's, like, a very easy game. People did that just, just for the hell of it. And then, um... I don't know. It was, it was, it was hilarious. But yeah, someone would always backstab, and so I, I, I spent a, like a good, and I did a couple of games that I always like. It's try to figure out who it is. It's always the person though. It's like the massive production though. Like they, they, they're the ones who built like 15 stargates, you know, so they can keep pumping out carriers or something. Because a lot of those maps had like really fast money and things like that. But I, I don't know. It's just like it's fucking weird. All right, we're just gonna send the rest of these guys over. Probably should pay attention to if they're getting fucking revert or not. So he's just Archons, like, that's, that's a fucking waste of two High Templars. There could have been two side Storms inside this, this fucking thing of, uh, Hydralis. Oh look, it's, it's a carrier. It's exactly what I thought it would be, a carrier. This is a betrayal, most foul Kerrigan. We were fools to have got along with this charade. You're right, Phoenix. I used you to get the job done. And you played along just like I knew you would. You Protoss are also headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. That's ironic. I can remember Tassadar teaching you a very similar lesson on Char. I took that lesson to heart, Praetor. Now, are you ready to die a second time? The Kala awaits me, Kerrigan. And although I am prepared to face my destiny, you'll not find me easy prey. Then that shall be your epitaph. That's like a fucking epic 
exchange between the two main characters. I'm sorry. I'm really into that. Ah, 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 there goes that carrier. Well, you know, I think I've officially beat this. I mean, like, I got so much fucking money. Because, you know, there are so many bases. It's not really a difficult mission because of that. There's so many bases you can go to. So it's kind of like, okay, we're fucking done with this. We just kind of just smoked the Protoss here. Maybe, maybe I'll give him a chance and, like, not go and put, like, all my Hydralis. Okay, you, you can you can try and kill two groups of Hydralis. I'm, I'm fucking... I'm sporting, uh, you know, you, 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 can, you can handle two groups, right, Phoenix? If you, if you can't handle that, then how can you handle death? You see, you even have two Feldon Cannons. I think it's an even matchup. Oh, no. Phoenix! No. What are you worried about, Jim? You died the way all Protoss hoped to. In combat. He died because you betrayed him. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? You don't even know what you're talking about, Jim. Don't I? I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. For Phoenix and all the others who got caught between you and your mad quest for power. Tough talk, Jimmy. But I don't think you have what it takes to be a killer. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an army at my back. But rest assured, I'm the man who's gonna kill you someday. I'll be seeing you. Wait, what? I totally forgot that exchange happened. Because, okay, in, in fucking Wings of, like, fucking StarCraft 2, he becomes a pussy white knight bitch and, and wants to fucking saber from the zerg or whatever with that stupid ass artifact. What the fuck? I totally forgot that that he says he's gonna kill her. I mean he d this fucking completely changes his mind in, in the, the fucking expansion that they made. That completely what the fuck? Whatever, I don't I don't care. It is done, Cerebrit. They've all been destroyed. Let us return to Tarsonis to rest. For the first time since my transfiguration, I am wearied with the slaughter. I'm just gonna say right now, StarCraft 2 isn't canon. I, I've, I'm fucking calling it here. Oh, well, hope you enjoyed. All kind of stuff. Oh, look at all the fucking money. All right, they got more money than me. Look at this. What did I? I was fucking pathetic compared to these guys. Jeez. I, and I thought I was the hoarder here.